When I was there as well, we buried the Vietnam Unknown Soldier, one of the big moments in my life in 1984. And you may now know that the Vietnam Unknown was recently identified last year. But again, what a day that was with President Reagan. We did two visits with President Reagan. If you look up there, you can see me, that young guy looking next to the soldier saluting. That's me up there, right next to the President of the United States back in 1984. And again, it was an amazing day to have that. The last year I was there at Arlington Cemetery, we did 11 heads of states out of my office in two visits with President Reagan. It was an incredible time to be a historian. But I also learned something else. And maybe it's something that you young people haven't experienced, but it's something I learned at the age of 30 or so. And that was what life is all about. Because Arlington, first and foremost, was a national cemetery, and our primary business was to bury the dead from the military. And most of the people that were buried at Arlington during those times were retired military, people who had lived a long and full life. We buried 16 people per day there. Now it's 26 or 27. But the day that stuck in my mind was shortly after I began my work there. It was, uh, it was October 20, uh, 23rd, 1983. And sure enough, on that day, I was actually in New York. It was a Sunday. I'm walking down the street. The newspapers came out, and it said, Marine barracks bombed in Lebanon. This is the first time in my life I ever read a newspaper headline where I actually understood the reality of that headline said. Because 250 young Marines were killed in that peacekeeping mission in Lebanon. We buried 21 of them over the next two weeks. And when you walk down Section 59 at Arlington Cemetery, the 21 graves are right by, by each other, and they all say the same thing. United States Marine Corps, Lebanon, October 23, 1983, 18. United States Marine Corps, Lebanon, uh, October 23, 1983, 20. And these were young men who had been killed in the prime of their lives. And one of the funerals uh, well, during that two-week period was one that we'll never forget because there was a young man there, a very handsome Marine, crying, just crying his eyes out. And he says, you know, I was there. I was in that barracks. I was in Beirut. I'm burying my best friend today. We were bunk mates. At 6 o'clock in the morning, I got up to go to the bathroom, and I'm walking down the hall, and I got blown out a window. And that's pretty common.